All right, folks, right now what we're going to do, we're going to pre-wire the home theater so that we go from the main, where all the sources are going to, we're going to pre-wire all the speaker outputs going from down there, from the main car log, all the way up to here. So that will be your front, front, left, front, right, center channel, and the two rears, which will we have to drop these pot lights down and pre-wire everything to the ceiling. Watch for the next step, folks. Now we gotta go get electrical tape, cutters, screws, and zip ties so that we could do this job properly. Okay, now we're just zip tying the speaker line to the stud so that it's 100% secure when I put the baseboard back on. I won't have any problems. It's gonna be nice and clean. It's not gonna be hazard using some self tapping screws. Uh, got, got my zip ties going. Center point out of the wall, so it's 63, 63 inches, and we're going to mount the center channel the center point of the wall. So it's going to go right about there. There we go. So, look at that. Boom. That's the other speaker line. wire now for the rear speakers, drop the pot lights so that I can run my fish line. Gotta drop all the pot lights so that we could uh, run our lines. Just figured out a way how we're gonna run our, run our rear speaker lines. Basically we had to, uh, you know, work my magic. So I ran the line through there, it's going up into the vent out this way, I'm going to attach the two st fiberglass sticks together, run it, drop the pot light, run it back all the way to the back, <coughs> and uh, that's how we make progress. Uh, we're almost done pre-wiring pre here. We have uh, basically all our lines ran. We had to drop all the pot lights to fish all the speaker lines. This is my rear speaker just have to attach it to the fish line and then I'm gonna fish it all the way along here down to that pinhole right there so that's my speaker line input and uh, yeah we'll keep going you guys see that look where it ran from all the way from the ceiling you see that bam look at that nice see that right there that's our first line in the rear speaker nice and clean well, this is the last section we have to cut out so that we can get the rear speaker in here. It's kind of a tight spot, but coming along. Okay, people. Now this one was the hardest one out of all of them. Okay, we had a tight corner. I had to figure something out how to like basically drop the wire so I attach it, you know, some wire, ran it this way from the pot light down, saw the wire, grabbed the wire, dropped it down. Now I'm gonna shoot it this way so it could go to this, and that's where I'm gonna mount my speaker. And that will be the last of that one. Alright guys. Look at that. First speaker on the wall. You know, looks nice and clean. The wiring's all clean. What can I say? I'm good. Okay, now we're just uh, mounting the speaker mount for the center channel. I pre-drilled all my holes here 
for the mount. Um, I did the front speakers already. They're all mounted, look clean, you don't see no wires. Uh, just have to wire my speaker right here and then um, center channel will be done, the rears will be done and uh, everything's looking uh, clean right now. So I have my mount, I had to pre-drill a hole in order for the speaker to, speaker wire to actually fit properly so that you don't see none of the wires behind there actually hanging from the wall uh, and everything seems like it's coming out okay alright folks well right now I'm just marking my points so that I don't when I put this baseboard back I don't hit any of the wire where the wire is located um, we have the wire here we also have a wire running up here, and that's about it. And what I'm going to do right now is basically put this baseboard back on. I have to sort of lift it up and put it back on like that. See how that goes. Fits nice and snug too on that side. I'm going to start on this side first. Gonna go on that side, lift it up from there, bend it in. It's a long run. See that? Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from one corner and then use the finishing gun to staple it back all back on properly. We use the best. We use Bostitch. You're only as good as your tools are, so you know. See a guy come do a job. Look at that, guys. One time. See how clean that is? Looks like you just ran your finger along it. Look at that. That's what you call pro. One shot. Can't get any better than that. Well, folks, another clean install. As you can see, no wires, everything's nice and clean. For more information, you can contact me at poundsoundaudio at gmail.com or visit me at Facebook slash poundsoundaudio. Thank you very much and stay tuned for the next video.